Hello all. So let's continue with the next part of this tutorial. Modeling a locomotive engine in 3ds Max. So let's get started. So as you can see over here we have done with the modeling. We are continuing with the modeling of this particular uh, locomotive engine over here. So let's continue that part over here. So now before we can start up over here what we are going to do over here is like let's go into the front view over here and let's take a box let's take a box so let's just push this box till here and just scale it up we can just push it a bit behind select this let's put one swift loop over here so let's assign one swift loop over here just push it in this way select this part push that up more So you can just push it more down, save it fine. So now what I'm going to do over here is like I'm just going to push this part a bit behind. So let's convert to editable poly over here and select this and let's just push this behind a bit. After we are done with this stuff over here. So we need to go with this over here also. So select this part and push this till here. So make sure it's not uh, totally coming out of that. But we need to make sure that it is a bit inside. Now what I'm going to do over here is like let's again take a box over here. So let's take a box over here so this box will go till here down so push this box up till here over here and let's convert to editable poly let's go into the side view and just push this out a bit so you can just push it inside so this can go more down over here and this will be in this way so extend it a bit more convert to editable poly and let's go into this let's select this edge and let's give a bit of chamfer so before giving a chamfer let's make it a bit more rounded over here so we can make it more rounded so either you can uh, place the loop over here and then you can also do that that's the same way so select this vertices you can just select this vertices and just push that up so convert to editable poly alt q let's go into isolation mode right click let's go into this and let's just set a cut over here so and isolate this so let's again go over here let's put one swift loop over here <coughs> and here put one swift loop over here for the window part and also we need to use one swift loop 
over here for that first let's uh, give a cut over here so what I need over here is like let's use one swift loop over here and one swift loop over here so for this this is a window part and isolate this so select the polygons so select the polygons let's go into the side view select this polygons over here you need to select all these polygons select all this polygons over here all right and let's extrude it by local normal and let's just reduce that stuff so that's it all right so once you're done with this so select this let's give a bit of inset over here and let's extrude it a bit inside and click ok so you can just select this three parts over here and let's use a bit of extrude and click ok that's it so so just save your file so if you want you can just go over here and let's take one one swift loop over here press 4 over here we use in set and let's use a extrude over here a bit inside that's it all right so now let's go again over here let's take a screw or that's a bolt part just duplicate this over here so you can just uh, push that out so go into this hierarchy effect pivot only center to object of this push that out so now what I can do over here is I'll just scale this going to make multiple copies you can make multiple copies let's just duplicate this select this both and just duplicate this stuff So just go on duplicating this. All right. So once you're done, so select this, 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 this. So just duplicate this over here. Copy this over here and shift and rotate it. Again, duplicate this part over here and duplicate this down so just keep on saving your files so once you're done over here so what we'll be doing now is like uh, let's take a copy of it let's take a copy of it we can just take a copy of it so 
convert to editable poly let's use one swift loop over here I'm putting one swift loop over here so let's just extrude this slowly a bit straighter alright so we need to push this more up compared to this and this is going to go more down select this select this polygons and let's just extrude a bit you can just extrude a bit so I can just select this and just push this a bit down So you can push it more down. So you can just push this inside just push this inside so definitely we'll be working out on this part so let's now pull this so pull this to its maximum length That's it. And select this and push it out. So definitely we are going to work more on this. So again select this part. Select this all. Just extrude it, extrude this out, alright, a bit, that's it. So uh, just select this all and just it will give a basic material over here, that's it, alright. So we will continue the rest of the part in the next tutorial. So thanks for watching this tutorial.